for another edition of Eggnog Challenge. Today we have lactate, lactose free eggnog experience. And we'll also be featuring Southern Comfort Traditional Eggnog Ultra Pasteurized. Mmm. Tonight we will answer the age old question. Is there a difference between lactate eggnog and Southern Comfort eggnog? I'm not really sure if it was an age-old question. I want to make sure this is a fair and balanced eggnog review. We're going to go with lactate first. Uh, oh, you know what would be good? Expiration date. This is a quart. Each quart was $3.29. Okay. Okay. The expiration date on the Southern Comfort is December 21st, and this one is the December 27th. So if you need to, if you want to hold it for both holidays, lactate seemed to be the way to go. I smell vanilla. Like, it, it smells like a vanilla milkshake more than eggnog. Oh, there's some eggnog flavor. Wow, that's pretty good. That's really good. This is really, really, really good. It's, um... I was expecting it not to have, like... I've, I've had uh, an oat milk eggnog this year. And that was, it was like skim milk. This is not like skim milk. This is like a 1%, 2%. Not exactly a whole thick eggnog, you know? Mm. Good mix of uh, like the nutmeg and the cinnamon. Wow. Real eggnog, no discomfort. That's what they claim. Um, it's 170 calories. The, uh, the, the lactate's a few calories less. And it actually has more sugar, more added sugar, 30%. Hmm. I'm in the beginning stages of a diet, so I'm starting to pay attention to things. And don't, you know what they say, it's always good to, to do an eggnog challenge um, <laughs> to start off your diet. Mm. Okay. I give this eggnog a Christmas story. It's really, it really is. It's it, it's traditional. I think a Christmas story is a fantastic movie. Um, and uh, you never can get enough of it. So that's my review of the lactate eggnog. So what they say to do with this is you get one quart of this eggnog. And then you get one cup of Southern Comfort, and you mix them together, and it's supposed to make a really good bottle, uh, a really good glass of eggnog. Um, fortunately, I, you know, I'm driving, so I can't, I don't have any Southern Comfort. So will this taste, oh, everybody's wondering, it's all, it's all a buzz on Twitter. Will it taste good without the hooch? Taking a smell of it, it smells like it has alcohol in it. Maybe, maybe, you ever smell Old Spice? You know how Old Spice smells like? Old Spice has a weird smell. This tastes like the way Old Spice smells. Is that weird? I would give this on a... If I had to review this as a Christmas movie, I would say... This is like Home Alone 4. I don't even know if Home Alone 4 is a Christmas movie or not. It's just like, it's fraudulent, you know? It's, it's not eggnog. This isn't, I don't like what this is. Give me, give me this. Mm. This is Home Alone 1 and 2. Go back in the lactate. Watch this. This is very... But a lactate one so much um, thinner than the Southern Comfort. Yeah. 
if I went to the store and I had to choose between lactate eggnog and Southern Comfort eggnog, I think I would pick the lactate eggnog. Just on the flavor. I really think the Southern Comfort, I think it's meant to be mixed with alcohol. And, uh, you know, our targets don't sell alcohol, so I can't mix it. Um, okay, well, no way I'm sleeping in the next four hours. That's it. That's my review of Lactate Eggnog versus Southern Comfort Eggnog. If you made me pick between these two, I go Lactate. I'm sure my belly will thank me more the next day. I don't have lactate problems, really. Well, sometimes I eat a lot of ice cream, and it makes my belly go boom.